these are the four books that I'm going to be sending in this month to get graded. If you want to know what they are, what price I paid, and what my predictions for the grades will be, stick around and you'll learn all of that very shortly. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today is the four comics that I will be sending in to PGX to get graded. I have a deal with PGX that not only helps me, but it also helps them and also helps you, and I'll explain why. Um, the deal I have is if they, um, allow, they allow me to do a 10-second ad, and I am allowed to send in four books a month to get pressed, dry cleaned, signature verification, and graded. And I also gave the ability for anybody interested in sending their comics to PGX. Obviously, you can go to CGC or CBCS if you want to. But if you choose PGX and send in 10 books or more and use the, co the code we love comics free Press. If you send 10 comics in, you can get one of them pressed absolutely free. So make sure you uh, write down that code, and that it is also in the description. Don't forget, I'm also selling my mystery comic boxes if you're interested in that, and join the cashback program. If you're interested, signing up gets you $10 cashback bonus if you spend $25 or more. So with that stuff out of the way, let me show the four books. These are all higher grade books because i thought it would be nice to get some higher grades in for a change a lot of the stuff you see is low grade um i don't have a problem with low grade because as i always say low grade is better than no grade but this time we're going to do high grade is going to be my grade so here's the first one um i spent a total of 500 dollars for this book uh this is my second copy of batman adventures 12 um with a pressing i don't really even think it needs a pressing but obviously, I get included pressings and dry cleaning, so I'm going to be adding that just to make sure. Um, I paid, like I said, 500 for this one. I am going to predict between a 9.4 and a 9.8 because it, it, this is a high-grade book. I would not be shocked if this comes back a 9.8, especially after a pressing um, with white pages. And uh, if this comes back a 9.8, this is going to be a, definitely a great investment, even at a 9.6. So uh, this is my second copy of this. I have one that I paid a total of about $27 for years ago because I bought it with my eBay bucks. And I had that one sent in to CGC before I even heard about pressings. And that one came back, I think, like a 9.2 or a 9.4. I may get that cracked open and get it pressed and see what happens. But this one is definitely in high grade. The corners are perfect. There are no creases on the spine whatsoever. I really think this could come back at 9.8, but I'm going to say between 9.4 and 9.8 just in case, because I don't want to be disappointed. All right, next one. This one I'm going to get regraded. This is my Edge of Spider-Verse number two. I have many of these. This is triple signed. This is signed by Robbie Rodriguez, Jason Latour, and Rico Renzi. Um, this book has not been pressed. They must have forgotten to do it because on the back of this book, there's crinkles in a couple of different spots, which means they didn't press this book. I mean, they, they might have forgotten that happens because they usually are pretty good at that. This might be one they just missed. But the good thing about that is that's going to raise the grade. Now, this one came back at a 9.0. I really think with the pressing and the dry cleaning, this book can get between a 9.4 and a 9.6, possibly a 9.8, because the only problems are the wrinkles in the back of the book. And those could get pressed out because they do not break color. So it's unfortunately that they missed it. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm just get it re slab. So I'm going to crack this open, uh, have them redo it. So I paid a total, and th and this is also including the shipping that it cost me to send it to PGX. So the cost has increased to a dramatic number of twenty nine dollars and fourteen cents. So um, even at a nine point oh, this is a steal for what I paid for it. But that pressing is definitely going to increase the grade. So like I said, between nine four and nine six. White pages, I would not be shocked if it came back at 9.8 after pressing. All right, next up, this is a book I bought um, about a year, year and a half ago. I don't really remember, honestly. It's, I've had it for a little while. But this is definitely a very rare Rick and Morty book. 
And again, with the pressing, it's really going to help this book because the rest of the book looks perfect. And this is a very rare book. It's called Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It. This is the um, Nerd Block variant. This was recalled because that company that was putting this comic out went out of business and they recalled most of them. So there's not a lot of these in circulation. And the one thing that I got that's different from most is this book was signed by Justin Roiland. And uh, I really think this book can come out pretty high. And season four is coming out in November. So that's only going to increase the value of any of these Rick and Morty books. So definitely, if you ever catch one of these, try and get it. Um, I paid a total of, where is it, uh, $350, which is actually pretty good, even unsigned. So I think I got a really good deal on this book, especially with the signature on it. So I will get that verified because PGX does in-house pressings, in-house dry cleanings, and in-house signature verifications. So I'm going to say 9.4 to a 9.8. It's going to depend on how good they do with the pressings, and they're usually pretty good at that. So um, I would love a 9.6. I would be thrilled to death with a 9.8. And um, you guys know me. I'm going to be happy regardless. So this is definitely a book to get if you can find it. All right, last but not least, this one, I, the more I looked at it, the more unbelievable this comic ended up. This was in a package of, I think, like 40 different comics. It was a Hulk run. And this was the key book that was included in this. This is Hulk 180. This has the Marvel stamp, and this book is beautiful. I am going to say conservatively, between an 8.0 and a 9.0, that's how good this book is. A pressing is just going to make it even better, but there is not one single tick along this spine. The staples are perfect. It is complete white pages inside. No stains, no nothing. Beautifully centered book. And um, I got this for a steal. Even if this was a 6.0, what I paid for the whole bunch would be paid for with this book alone. But when you average them all out, I paid a total of $5.43 for this book. So this could come back a 0 0.3 if I sent it to CBCS. And I would still make out on this. Now, of course, Wolverine hasn't even been considered for a Marvel movie yet. And uh, this book is one of those key books to get. I think this, in my opinion, is one of the most undervalued comics out there. Because 181 is the one everybody wants, but that's not his technical first appearance. It's his first full appearance. But Hulk 180 is the first time you ever see Wolverine in a comic, in a comic book. Even though it's the last panel, which is a cameo. It's still the first time that you've ever seen him. So to me, this is a must-have in your collection, especially if you cannot afford 181. But like I said, the more I looked at it and I looked on the inside, I mean, the corners, there's a little bit of a roundness here. That's why it won't get super high. But I mean, even when you see a lot of these comics, there is not one dog ear bend at all. This book is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I could see is a little non-color-breaking crease right there, but that can be pressed out. This is the only major problem, a little bit of a blunt edge, but not even a major amount. Just the tiny tip of it was blunted a little bit. So for $5.43, I mean, I think I spent like 200 and something dollars for the entire run. And it also included Hulk 182 as well. And also the second appearance of Groot in, I think it's Hulk Annual 5. And thanks to my subscribers, they mentioned that because I didn't even know about that. I'm actually surprised that book isn't that expensive, considering how expensive the first appearance is. But I guess because most people don't know about it. I may do a video on that one day. But those are the books. Um, this one is going to be the lowest of the bunch, but like, as far as grade-wise. But like I said, I paid $5.43, and I'm going to predict between an 8.0 and a 9.0. I would not be shocked if it comes back higher than a 9.0. That is how good this is. I mean, the back is absolutely beautiful. Because, you know, like I tell people, don't just base it on the cover. You have to open it up. You have to look at the front and back. You have to look at the staples. The staples are pure silver, not any amount of rust at all. Because even if you have rusty staples, that is going to lower the grade of a book. So like I said, the only major two problems is there's a little 
crease right there that does not break color and a tiny tip of the corner is blunted a little bit. And when I say a sixteenth of an inch, that's a lot. So I cannot wait to see that one come back. So that's going to be the lowest as far as grade wise of the bunch. Then we have the Rick and Morty Pocket Like You Stole It number one signed by Justin Rowland. This is the Nerd Block variant. I'm going to have this one cracked open and resent out because it absolutely will benefit from a pressing. I mean, there's a couple of big wrinkles on the back, so they, they forgot to press this one. So that's going to bring the grade up. So even if it gets a 9-2, it's still better than a 9-0. But I think it's going to be higher than that. And last but not least, my high-grade comic of Batman Adventures 12, first appearance of Harley Quinn. So I cannot wait to get these back. Um, I should be getting... My last month's batch in another two weeks or so, they're starting to get back on track. I cannot wait until they are ready to show their new labels because part of their ideas um, are actually ex um, from me. So I cannot wait to show those off. I'm really looking forward to seeing those. It can't happen soon enough. So by the time you see this video, I'll have already had these sent out. Usually takes about six weeks to get them back. And then we'll learn live what the grades are together because I don't know the grades until I reveal them with you guys. So hopefully you'll stick around to check those videos out. So don't forget to wait until the end to see today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you can be so kind, if you can give this a thumbs up, it will help my channel. Please, like I said, join the cash back program. Check out my Marvel, uh, Marvel, I keep saying Marvel mystery boxes. They can be all Marvel if you want them, but uh, the links are in the description. You can also click on the little banner icons in the bottom right-hand corner of my main page icon, and um, don't forget to hit subscribe. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I just needed a week off because there's been a lot of stuff going on. And I needed to take a little break, so I'm sure many of you understand. And if you waited until the end, I want you to show me right here this. Uh, let me put it in the camera so you can see it. This Buffalo Nickel. So if you are one of my power viewers that stay until the end, or one of my ultra power viewer that stays to the end of every video, then you will know to put this in the comments section. So that is a Buffalo Nickel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Always appreciate your loyal viewership. And don't forget, it is not I. It is not you. Whoa, wow, I messed up my own thing. It's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. See what happens when you take a week off? See you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cashback program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom, and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out.